I'm literally eating a pomegranate and an orange for breakfast. It is currently 10.09. Um, I'm also going to reheat this oat and quinoa mix. I know, it looks fucking crazy, but <laughs> I'm gonna reheat it with the non-dairy oat milk. I also have a matcha. And that's what I'm eating for breakfast. I'm trying to keep it really light in the mornings. It's a little late, but um, that's, what, that's what we're doing. I got this from, I believe it's Tish Wonders on Instagram and on YouTube. She had mixed the quinoa in the oatmeal and I was like, oh, that's cute. So I did it. pomegranate because honestly I just got tired I just got tired of getting all the seeds out I tried to make it look all pretty but the splashes whatever and then the quinoa oatmeal over here and I just topped it with some cinnamon and some maple agave syrup blend from Trader Joe's and of course my matcha and we're gonna take this upstairs and we are going to eat Peace. What's up? All right, so welcome back to my good old channel. I'm looking real ashy. Forgive me, okay? But I just made the breakfast. I showed you I had some pomegranate and GMO oranges because there's, there's, there's no seeds in there, so they got me. Matcha and quinoa oatmeal. I have to put something on my skin because I'm just really out here looking crazy dry. I can't even do it. All right, let's get into it. So let's go ahead and talk. I'm gonna be doing vlog styles because I like vlogs. Vlogs make me happy. I like to watch them, I like to make them. I think that they're entertaining and that's what I'm going with. I also have some news to tell you. You might be looking at my titties and thinking that, whoa, they look pretty big. They are, <laughs> because the news is, I'm Pregos. So yes, me and Akeem are having a little baby. I call it Bean. That's the name I'm going with. Had to get my, I had to get smart for this news. But yeah, I'm pregnant, man. So. <laughs> I am only nine weeks. You can't really, I don't know if, I'm not really showing crazy like that, but I have a little something happening, but I'm only nine weeks, allegedly. <laughs> I went to the doctor last week. They said I was eight weeks and some change. So, you know, I'm assuming I'm 11. I'm, the fuck? I'm assuming I'm nine going on 10 or whatever. So, yeah, I haven't, I haven't gotten the, full bump yet but I am getting bigger my breasts are out of control and and yeah that's that's just that's what's up so I'm excited so this channel will be about everything eating what I prepare for myself cooking with Akeem <sighs> we'll probably do a channel soon I'm actually about to put some uh, video up on his page that I did for his food prep. He's in it. He was a little tipsy, so that should be entertaining. Um, <laughs> but that'll be up. Yeah, man, just out here living. It's crazy. A lot of us was, was getting down in the get down, with the get down all summer. Like now Negroes are pregnant. This video will be vlogs, straight vlogs. Like I said, I enjoy vlogs. I think they allow a nice engagement. Like you get to know the person that you're watching and subscribe to. Like I want people to subscribe to me for a reason. And, and you know, when I subscribe to somebody, I really like to see them. You know, when their videos come on, I look forward to them. I don't necessarily feel like I know them because I'm not 
a widow, but <laughs> you know, you kind of feel like, all right, like I like this person's energy. And I think you're really able to get that out of vlogs. And I think they're just fun to watch. So of course I'll be documenting my, my journey, my progress, what I'm eating, still fitness. I'll be showing pregnant workouts. I am gonna be that pregnant mommy. <laughs> what? My brain is fried. I am gonna be that pregnant workout mom. Yeah, I'm still gonna lift weights and train, but honestly, I have not been doing that. I've been really slacking. I haven't been working out at all, like, at all. I'm still training people. Let me know if you are interested in training. I do online training as well as in person, but I really want to start capitalizing on this online training. So yeah, so just food, workouts, baby, journeys, life, all that shit. Um, really quickly, I haven't had any morning sickness. Like <laughs> I talked to some people and they are like, man, I had the worst experience, the worst three months, two months chilling. I've literally been able to eat everything. It hasn't been one thing that I can't eat or don't like. I ate one whole jar of pickles for like two days straight. <laughs> I'm eating. I'm out here getting thick. Th -th 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 thick. And I am not ashamed of that. Especially coming from the fitness world and industry. A lot of people are like really self-conscious about weight and putting on weight i'm gonna be a house like i'm not even gonna hold you i'm not even gonna lie <laughs> but i've never really been like crazy about my appearance i've always just wanted to feel good and feel and be able and capable of doing things that's pretty much how i train as well that's like my philosophy i don't especially with women i'm not big on Oh, I, you need to look this way or what? No, like, can you do a push-up? Do you feel good? Like, are you functional? Can you move your body? Like, you know what I'm saying? That That's what's, what matters. Can you run up the block if you really needed to get away from a motherfucker? Like, if you can't, you need to be able to. And currently, I can't. <laughs> currently, I'm out of breath by the time I get up my stairs. It's crazy. It's really crazy. So I'm going to take you on that journey of getting back to getting in shape because you can be skinny, you can be overweight, you can be thick, you can be in the middle, whatever, and still be out of shape. And I am currently out of shape. So we're gonna go back to training, getting this life popping. I'm excited. Of course, there's trials and tribulations in life. Like my life is not perfect. I have a lot of stressors in my life, but for the most part, I try to stay as grateful and happy and thankful as I possibly can. Um, my homeboy, uh, I already posted something on his Instagram. This uh, Steve Harvey was saying this and he was just like, if you change your perspective, I'm gonna just leave y'all with this. But if you change your perspective, you know, when you wake up, if you change one word, that's what he said. He said, if you change one word, Every day, every time that you wake up, it's gonna change your life and change the opportunities that come into your life and um, just open up a lot more doors and energy, good energy for you to, you know, receive. And he said, instead of saying, you know, damn, I gotta go to work or I gotta wake up right now or I gotta train, gotta work out today and making it such a, a burden, a negative aspect of your life, change it to the word got to I get to wake up I get to train I get to you know spend the whole day doing whatever and I always remind myself of that especially like when I'm spending money I don't like spending money <laughs> do not like spending money and sometimes it really it really hurts it hurts me and beans whole soul <laughs> to spend money and a lot of it you know when I have that initial feeling of damn or I don't want to do this or you know I'm upset about that I go right into saying fuck it 
at least I can, I have it to spend. You know what I'm saying? Like I could totally not have it and be struggling to get it and be out on the street corner, smoking crack, selling my ass to get it. People are really doing this in life. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? This is happening. So if you just change your mindset for that quick second, not saying that everything is always gonna be positive at all, because I will get it popping. <laughs> Argument wise, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a killer. But not everything is gonna be perfect, but if you can tweak some words and some thoughts, just a small thought, a small word, and just really find the gratitude in, in a situation in life, things will be better at least in that moment, right? So, yeah, I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to say that and I just wanted to say thank you for sticking with my page. I see my page growing and I'm not even doing anything and I say that every single video. Shout out to my baby daddy for helping me out with that because he's posted some stuff on his platform, Akeem Supreme. Um, I post a lot, I edit a lot of the videos that go on his page and it's really growing and it's really developing into something and I'm very happy for him and he's happy. And you know, now it's my time to really put in the energy and effort and work that I put into um, his page into my page and into growing my own platform and I'm hoping that everybody I'm hoping to use Bean pretty much you know what I'm saying Bean is going to get this popping because I know y'all want to see what Akeem Supreme's mama baby mama is doing no <laughs> and I got the inside scoop on Akeem Supreme so if you're a fan of his you need to be a fan of mine because I actually sleep with this man. You know what I'm saying? Okay? I hear him snoring every night. You know? <laughs> no, but seriously. Um, it's just time to start my own platform and do my own thing so that we can do our thing together and start this wonderful family and, um, you know, get ready for this beautiful blessing that is on the way. I hope I have a successful three trimesters. Is it three? I th <laughs> this is my first pregnancy. This is my first time ever getting pregnant. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Um, but I, you know, I just hope for a beautiful, healthy, successful pregnancy and growth in life. And I wish that for myself my family and for all of you and everybody else and especially my beautiful friends and family and close loved ones um yeah so welcome back to my page this is another chapter i have stuff to at least say <laughs> so you know i'll be journaling my pregnancy and try to do it every week to give out some content. And then I'll be going back into the gym and training and working out on Friday. <sighs> I'm gonna get my fat ass back in there. You know what I'm saying? Cause I've really been slapping, slapping. But thank you for everyone, to everyone who has subscribed, who, who's come over from my King's channel to my channel to show love and support. Thank you to everybody who has been subscribed and been showing love and support. We're trying to get to a thousand followers. I have like 500 now. Ciao. I had a hundred and like nine the other day, girl. Um, not the other day, but <laughs> yeah, it was a baby, baby channel. And it's still a baby, baby channel. But for me, 500 people is like, the fuck? You know, but sky's the limit. And that's not even a limit. It's about to, we're about to wall out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because my baby is supposed to be a Gemini and Akeem's baby. So. <laughs> no disrespect to the Geminis out there. Respectful, respectful. But uh, it's about to be crazy. It's about to be wild. But anyways, I'm about to get ready to finish my food. I, I'm talking way too much, didn't even eat. I'm also going to train my client. And that's it. I'll probably be back with something else, I don't know. I might do a little workout, feel inspired. 
before I leave, um, let's get into these locks. What? I just did the front really quickly. I'm almost semi free form. Like I like big chunky locks. I like I'm I like those crazy, not crazy, but organic like Jay Z locks. Like I like free form locks. I love those locks. I like all locks really, but I I'm, I don't mind those locks at all. And I like for mine to be thick. I want these. Thick Congo dreads that go all the way down here. I'm really hoping that by the summertime and by the time Bean is here, you know, this is the length right now. Let's do a length check. This is this is my hair. And I always said that when I get pregnant, I'm gonna lock my hair. And I had locked it prior to me being pregnant. I locked it, I think last year sometime. And I physically made these manually. Like my hair was a big afro and I just started like literally mixing the hair with strands and meshing them up and this is what I got. You see? So I don't like to keep them very tame like this in the front. They're usually, my roots are wild. But today I was like, oh, I'm gonna put my hair in a little ponytail and let me just quickly put a little gel and wrap them back, twist them back. So it's only the front that's twisted, the rest of it is not. But this is, this is where I'm at. Look, okay. I'm hoping by the time Bean is here, it'll be at least, it'll be at least here. I heard that some babies can take out your hair. If Bean does that to me, if Bean takes that, my edges, we find it. Like we're fighting, legit. But um, that's that. So that was a little food. That was a little, a lot of talking, and a little hair. <laughs> so yeah. If you like me, and you like my energy, fucks with me. Fucks with the channel. You know what I'm saying? You know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please have a beautiful day. I will see you sometime next week. Peace.